Challenge number nine, the straw game. Start with 17 straws. The straw game. Now here's a game that you can present. It's just a game of chance. Right. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my lovely assistant. Thank you, Marcin. All right. I'm going to grab a bunch of straws. I'm going to lay them out on the table. And it's just a simple game of pick up, pick up straws. So now we're going to take turns picking up one, two, or three straws at a time. And we're going to take turns. Now the object is for me to leave Marchin with the last straw to pick up. So whoever picks up the last straw loses. Okay? So a bunch of straws on there. Right, did you want to go first? No, you go I, first. I go, sure? Because okay. I go first. Okay. Did you want to go first? Maybe. You sure? No, you, you go. Pardon? Yeah. Okay, I'll go. Okay, go. Right. You sure? Fine answer? Okay. I'm going to go first now. I'll pick up one, two, or three straws at a time. All right. Now, what am I doing here? I'm obviously, I'm just playing with his mind, right? All right. Does anybody know the trick to this game? Is there a trick? Who knows? Tune in next time. Find out. <laughs> the game begins. Okay, we're back. Here we go. So, was I starting? I'm I was starting. starting. Okay. I'm going to take... This one, it's very nice. Red is my color. Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I see. The Rizinski move. All right. 1968. Yeah, very important. It's a very interesting way of going about it. Um, I think I'm going to. Yeah, that's where I am. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting one. I see. The Thompson maneuver. Yeah, I didn't come out until about 1974. Yeah, no old jokes. <laughs> All right, now. Mm, there we go. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, He's a little upset now because now he's picked up one. I picked up two, I believe, right there. I pick up two. He has the last straw. He loses. Here's the solution to the straw game. You're going to kick yourself. <laughs> right. Now, I don't know if how uh, many of you were paying close attention and actually figured it out, but when I left Marchin with five straws, I'll back up for a second, with five straws, he couldn't win, right? Because he has that option. He has one, two, or three. So he picks up one straw. I then pick up three straws. He picks up the last straw and he loses. Right? If he had picked up two straws, I would then also pick up two straws. He still has to pick up the last straw and he loses. So once you leave your opponent with five straws, they can't win. Now, what he probably didn't realize is he actually lost when I left him with nine straws. It's the exactly the same thing. All right? He picks up one, I pick up three, we're at five. All right? Very sneaky. All right? but what he probably didn't realize is he actually, I see this coming, lost when I left him with 13 straws. Right? And actually, yeah. well, I started, right? So if, if I have the option, I'd rather march and start. Right? Because then, basically, I have 17. I can just subtract. It's much easier for me to keep track of that. So 17 straws. If he picks up one, I pick up three. Right? So if I'm going to start, I will always pick up one straw because it gives me more options. Right? Even if you don't know how many straws you start with, at least you can sort of spread them out and start to count them. But really, it's five straws and then multiples of four. And you can't lose. Sneaky. Yes, sir. I'm sneaky. 